the other card, this flips. And now we get our first Symphonic Combo, exactly as I uh, expected. Hello everyone, today we have Tamarak Trail. This is a roguelike deck builder with dice mechanics. I have completed a, a couple of runs uh, successfully and I wanted to show you more about the mechanics of the game, how to uh, build your dice successfully for the run, uh, some tips and tricks, some things you, you should try to avoid, uh, what my strategy is generally. I uh, will also show you how to do infinite combos. So let's go for it. And for now, the demo, which is quite present and, and the game is meant to be released later this year, the, the demo has been updated uh, today and a few things have been added. But for now, we can only play with one um, only character, which is the detective. So we will have to go for it. Uh, so without further ado, let's go. Okay, so first encounter okay we'll start with two dice and i will show you how to to play with them first uh, let's see we have a uh, energy which is this in this case of this enemy the energy is, is eight and it um, gets two more every turn and it has two health points we have to hit him twice to, to be able to, to kill him. The interesting thing is that we can only do that when the energy is zero, uh, is reduced to zero. We need to do that before. And that is what is called in the game is re called resolve. So similarly, we have 25. And it's, it's a balance of at the same time being some kind of shield because we cannot be hurt as far as we have uh, resolve but it's also the energy so it's, it's, it's an interesting balance there and then we also have here the block which at the moment is, is zero so you're gonna start with this die and this is a defense uh, and this is uh, an attack but this applies three blitz every every bounce and unfortunately we have not bounced the, the die and it costs one energy, as you can see here, right? So if I use it, it's, nothing is really going to happen. No, no blood is, is added. And this one costs zero energy and gains six uh, block. This guy is going to attack for four, by the way, so we, we are covered. Fine, so we want to start with this die. And now you see we have this same uh, side that came out before, right? So I'm going to highlight it here. It's three bleed per bounce. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, this is a demo. I think I, I have not found any, any other way uh, than this to be able to show in a screen what a die is, is meant to do without playing it. So you might see me doing that quite a while, quite a while uh, while I uh, explain this. So we want this die to bounce and and that's how we do it now the problem with bounce is that as you can see here now the cost is two it's not one so the cost is increased by one every time the die is bounce so we're gonna play this and this one happens the same the cost is, is meant to be one but because it has bounce the cost is two and this is gonna de deal five damage so this eight will be reduced to three right okay there we go now something interesting is that we can use the auto roll but in my experience this is not good at this stage probably later on when we have unlocked more things it will be fine the problem is as i said you don't have control if you use this over how many times the dice bounce and because every time that the dice bounce is increased by one the cost of the side that's not something you want to happen 
um, most of the times, right? So in this case, for example, I don't I don't want this to bounce because that will increase the energy required for it unnecessarily. So I don't I'm making manually they don't bounce, and this one is gonna be defense, and I'm gonna attack. Now this is gonna deal five damage, so this has to resolve, and I will hit him once. There we go. Okay, and it has also the bleeding that has got the results, the result from three to one. Okay, I might change into uh, from time to time to say energy or resolve depends on, on how I feel like. Okay, so this die is an interesting one. If I play this one, he will die because he's gonna have like five damage. But I want to show you this. This one, what it does is you gain one dodge. Flips to the other side and exhaust. And that means that next time you get this side, the side is, is going to be empty and that's going to cost you energy. But for now, um, I will just continue. You will see that soon. Now, um, every time we win, we have a, a choice of three sides. This, I feel, is, is quite expensive. It can be good in the sense that. Um, is, is, it hits three times, but, but for now I will skip that. This one is the bleed that we already have, and uh, at the moment I don't want another one. And this is, this do damage to all monsters and flip the die to the, to the right. And this is quite interesting because flipping is the, what I have found may be some other mechanics in the game and other characters. But flipping is the way to get infinite combos. Um, you, the idea is that you you get a side, you use it, then it flips the die, you can use it again, And but if the second side of the die also flips, then you get a third use of that die, and so on, and get you into an infinite combo. So let's get this one. And every time that we finish a uh, stage, we have a chance to to edit things. So this is the die that I want to to make use of flip. So I'm gonna put this one here. I think that sounds good. And I'm going to add this one here. Um, fine. Let's get to the next battle. And let's start with this die, as usual. We don't want it to bounce, so... We don't waste energy. And... This is our turn. Now, same mechanic, always this die first, this second. And we go draining him step by step. Okay, now in this case we want it to bounce, so we make it bounce. There we go with three blood and this one, okay. Again, same thing, and this is going to be our, our main mechanic. And I will show you how I choose the different sides, how I arrange them and how I create different dies for different purposes. Okay, so this is to attack. This, he lost one health point and now another one. Good. And this should be a quick one. Um, there we go. Okay, fine. So, this one is quite good. I like it. Um, this is a good flip one as well. And similar to this, with the difference that this is to all monsters and this is to, to one specifically. I'm, I will go for this one. And I'm gonna get it. This die is the die that we gonna get all our flip sides. As I said, to get the infinite combos, 
we use a side, it flips, then the next one flips, the next one flips. So this is where I'm going to put this one and I will replace uh, one of these attacks. Okay. Now we have a camp, we have not lost any health, but it's fine. And we have a split of, of paths. All of them are gonna lead us to, to this point. Uh, later on, we want to get to the upper one because this is where the shop is. And by the way, the, the map is quite massive, as you can see. It seems like it has like three, as, uh, three acts and the demo is up to the second act. So this is a boss, second boss, um, and there's some, there should be some elite, but you know, doesn't seem to. And then this other boss, the first one, and, and the elite. So let's go for, let's say, an event. Okay. So a hooded figure approaches you. Behind it, you can see a card with what you can only assume to be a dead body. A figure gestures first at you, then at the card. So what should I choose? Let's say I'm going to point towards the body. Okay, that's good. New die core. So let me explain what this means. Um, so in every die, when we get them like this, we we can add a core, and this core affects all the dice. Uh, that is specific die, and we have we can choose which core we set give to each die, and essentially this is gonna give us 15 resolve or 15 energy every time we are wounded once per combat, which is gonna make things easier because that's gonna replenish or not completely replenish, but it's gonna give us a boost of energy whenever we are hit once. Now for this one, let's say I go to this. And let's start. This is our usual mechanic. We want that to bounce, so we make it bounce. Three bleed. Hit him again. Okay, we don't want this to bounce, so there we go. And okay, we can use this one. Should we? Um, yeah, let's do that. So we have one dodge now, and we can hit him. You can now see that this die has changed the, the shape. Now it's like kind of shone, and it means that this, die, this side is not usable. Um, and you will see how that affects us in a moment. Okay, so go for it. Another half down. And um, let me see if I can show you this. No, okay, fine. It's a matter. Go. Okay, uh, we'll have plenty of opportunities for that. Okay, this is a quite good one. Um, because it flips the die. The, there's a point here that it says blind. Okay, they have fixed this because in the previous version it got updated today. It was not an explanation of why bli what blind was until you get more into the game. And this one is, uh, is, is good as well because it adds plus two, as you can see there. That plus two means that it has no bounds. You gain five of um, shield but you get to resolve uh, added to, to your bar. I'm going to go for this one because that's going to help me build the die that I want to build. This is our bounce die so I'm going to put them like this. So essentially what's going to happen is if this one gets uh, uh, the selected one, and I play it, it's going to flip to the top. The top one is this. This is the one that is on the opposite side. And now when I play this, this will go to the right, which is this one. Uh, and this will go to the left. That should be this one. Um, I'm not completely sure about that, but, but let's see. But this is starting to get a good. 
if we have two of these, we can put it in, in uh, opposite sides and, and then you get an infinite combo straight away. So, let's go. I think we have a battle now. Oh, we have an event. Let's, let's go for it. Okay, uh, you've seen some mushrooms like this. You've never seen mushrooms like this. Picus fluids drip from the colored toast stools. Looking strangely appetizing. The air glitters with the sports and your head is feeling a tiny bit light. Okay, I remember I had this before and I chose this one. And it was not amazing, but it was not bad either. So, uh, okay. Two spores and in riders. Yeah, so it that, yeah, that was not the, the greatest uh, choice anyway. I had with two spores means I received twice more damage, but that should be fine. Okay, so this is an elite, and I see you, we can play down this one, and it that's blind to the monster and flips to the top. It didn't flip to the one that I expected it to flip. So the mechanics here are a bit forward, but well, we can play that. And um, now let's say this. Okay, that's been a good turn. Oh yeah, I didn't remember this guy used a minion. Okay, so again, this die. Um, let's gonna take this one down first, and we get the fence. Okay, to expose. Okay, attack. Get this one. And defense. They are hitting us. Okay, we want that to bounce, so that's where we go. Um, we gonna do this. Then one hard to this one. The other card, this flips. And now we get our first Symphony combo, exactly as I uh, expected. Good. And you see now that side was uh, removed from the die. Um, this is always good. And five damage and defense. Good. Okay, and now you see this is the, the, the problem with that side is that um, because it gets exhausted is that's a consequence of this guy. This this side is not meant to be exhausted. And the problem is that when we play it, meaning that we recover what it was there for the next turn, it costs us four energy or four resolve, right? So now you see it it's back to how it's meant to be. Now, fence. And let's go for that. Okay. Flip. Another two damage. And flip. And infinite combo again. And we deal one damage. Now we defense. Fine. Again. Now you see this guy is back. But we have lost another side, and it's because of this guy is like that. So let's recover that side. This course has four energy. And I think actually we we lose one side when we do a, an infinite combo, I believe. I'm starting to think about that. Okay, another health point removed from him. Um, over. Okay. One more down, and this should kill him. There we go. And now we get a new die, so we're gonna have three dice. And. We're gonna put everything that we have here because we don't have anything else. So this die, I'm gonna try to make it like a attack die with all attacks, whatever 
it it gets. So now we said we want to go to the shop. So let's get here. We heal one and we get to the next combat. Okay. This guy is quite funny uh, sometimes. Um, we will see. Ideally, we should go for this one first. And, and I will explain why in a moment. Okay, so we want that die to bounce. Let's, let's make it bounce. And we can make it bounce again. So now that we have three die. And if you see, now it's going to apply six bleed instead of three. And we hit him and we block. Okay, now let's continue with our main mechanics. Uh, applying to blind to all monsters, and then this hits him. Now it's one hard down and has five bleed. It only recovers three, so he should die in the next uh, movement. And then we hit this guy and defense. I suspected he died and this is an interesting one uh, as i said this is a funny guy once this gets stacks to three then another fellow like, like him comes out so we want that to bounce let's make it bounce as we have plenty of energy we can make that bounce as well so we get six uh, here and this one yeah, we want that. We wasted a bit of energy there. It was not really efficient turn. But, well. But this one is going to die now. Because of the bleed. And we will get into this one. Mm, no, he will not die. Because he will recover. Yeah, he will. He will. No, no. He, has, he still has to. Um, but now we can do that recover this die and get another okay that one died because of the bleed again let's go for that we want that to bounce so let's make it bounce now sometimes when it bounces it changes the the side if you are careful that will not happen much um, but okay, this should be uh, an infinite combo. Well, not necessarily. Let's see how like, lucky we are. And there we go. And he loses one. And if we are lucky. No, we are not lucky. We need to go for one more uh, turn. Okay. I cover this. Fence, and let's see if we get uh, and again we don't we need to get more sides and this should finish in well I did an infinite combo as well but fine so what do we want um, we can get this one into our infinite combo mm, and speed that or we can improve our defense with this it's not it doesn't improve our defense it improves our energy which we don't need at the moment so i'm gonna go for this one um i didn't show the the third option but um given that we are building the the die uh, with um, in this uh, approach we should get into it like that and then get one more side here, step by step. Okay, so next stage. Okay, why well, let's go for this one, for example. Okay, awesome. I think it combo there. That was pretty good. Uh, defense is great. And now, not lucky again. Uh, 
Dan goes well, we will be more laggy once we fill it with more sides. And now we want this to bounce. We want the torch. Oh, this is just click. Clips. And we hit this one. Let's see if we're lucky with this one. We are. And then this adds three bleed. That is not gonna be enough to kill him. Because he lost this three resolve before the ability is applied. Okay, oh now we don't have that side. Then this is not like he's useful in this in this particular uh, turn. I opted for killing him because the tablet was not going to be enough for killing him. So can and one more infinite combo and they they deal the infinite combo deals five damage so it's whatever damage you do we have there like i think four plus two six plus the other five is just i mean eleven if i'm correct um if i recall correctly what the other of the last turn was and now we take one of his hearts down And um, yeah, fine. This should be enough to kill him. Go. So. Good. So, I like this one. Uh, this deals seven of damage, which is gonna be our strongest one. It flips only if the enemy has some kind of debuff. So it's good if, if we can add bleed something to them. That's good. And this makes them drowsy, which means that they don't regenerate uh, energy or resolve. So I'm going for, for this one for a flip die. As you can see, our flip die is, is becoming quite a, a monster. So let's get this one in a change of this. And yeah, that's pretty good. And use this side here. Yeah. Okay, next. Duck, next uh, enemy. Okay, fine. So we probably want to take this one first because it has less resolve. So let's get into that. Okay, so this, they have a, a debuff, so this one is gonna flip. And now... Okay, we kill him in one single turn. And now... This should give us an infinite combo. This is not really useful, because the, the enemy is not gonna attack. Um, okay, there we go. So essentially our third die is going to be a guaranteed attack every turn. Once it's filled with uh, different sides. Okay, so what about this one? This one... Oh yeah, this. I remember this one. This is pretty good because um, it flips uh, and adds two resolve. So you gain two resolve and two... Um, and to block and it flips so that's gonna also help us gain more energy and hmm, which one do i want all defense abilities are two more defense hmm, okay i think i'm going for this one I could have picked the, the one that was useful for flip, but I am aiming for something a bit better there. Uh, so my idea is, the plan is, this one is going to be a flip dice. This one is going to be our defense dice. So I'm going to try to replace everything with, with defenses. So we have a guaranteed defense every turn. And this one, try to fill it everything with attacks. So it gives us uh, a guaranteed 
um, attack every turn. Fine, so let's put this one here. And sorry, this gets here. Okay. Fine, so now the one that we want to bounce is this one. And that's the one that we wanna throw first, because if we throw it the last, then there's no chance that we can bounce them. Bounce it, okay? So now our mechanics is gonna be the same, but but we're gonna go first for this. It didn't bounce, so we just play it. And then our next priority is this one. Uh, blinds blind to all monsters, and this one. And if it's combat, this one is gone. As you can see, this is pretty pretty cool. Um, I only want this, yeah, I, I want that. And now hit him. Okay. Okay, this shield. That fence and let's take one heart out of him. Okay, again, this is our first die because we want this to flip. If we want this to flip, we want it to happen with this one because this one we're gonna flip so. It's going to increase the cost per one every time we flip. So this is our, our second one. And now we should... Mm, let me think. This will kill him. And then... This should be good. Okay, not enough. But two hits and he's done, so um, I should have thrown this one first. Anyway, one cut down. Let's see what we get from here. Okay, it's gonna survive one more turn. But... Yeah. Fine. So, there we go. And what do we want here? So we have more flips. Ah, that's an interesting one. Mm. We have plenty of flips. This one is pretty cool because it adds resolve. So every time we play a die that is flip, it, it costs us um, some uh, resolve. So that allows us to gain back a bit of that resolve and, and also some energy. So I will put this in a change of of the fox. Yes. And I will take the fox into this because that's bigger damage. And get to the shop. The shop is a bit funny, I would say, because it's kind of a band playing some music here and we can buy from this two characters here so let's see what this one has each of them has four different things okay let me look at them mm, okay fine um let's see what this one has okay This one safe house, I didn't manage to, to understand or to find what it was because the description was, was buggy as well. So I think I will take this one. And we have 195 gold. I will take this one because that improves our, our defense our die. And what is uh, anything interesting here? Um, this one is also interesting and it helps in our in our um, defense die. So let's get to the defense die, which is this one. 
and we get this one and we get this one fine and I think because this exhausts uh, I will for now remove it mm, I could keep it there mm. okay I think it's will be fine like that and now we can continue our adventure so Okay, we're getting to the first um, boss. Okay, so we said this is our first die because it's the one that bounces. Uh, this is the one that we want to make bounce. Um, so we get this defense. And I think we have, we have plenty of energy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce it again. So I get this is the six. And... I'm gonna gain some energy back mm, from this one. Blind. And this one has a debuff, so. Again, and the fox. And this one will die immediately. Okay. Fine, you said that was, that was quick. And this one has fur, uh, it's a bit annoying, but we will deal with that. So, let's start with using this one. Oh, it bounced. Anyway. Fine, and this one. And again, we have it combo. So we got this um, from that crowd kind of um, aperture. Uh, kind of um, that uh, side. So the next attack is, is multiplied by the amount of dice uh, of bounces. So this one is, is not really useful, unfortunately. And this one, it deals five damage. If it's multiplied by one bounce, it's gonna deal five damage. So in order to to take advantage of this, we need at least two bounces. Uh, which we cannot do, so this is pointless. And again, some block. Okay. This. Now, and this should end there, the fight. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I don't have... Ah, I ran out of resolve. Oh, I didn't notice. Okay, fine. So, I got hit. I was a bit optimistic there, I think. Uh, and, and I got plenty of, of resolve. As you see, I, I ran out of it. And I now I have 22. And those 22 are 7 that I recovered each turn. Plus 15 from the core. I will show again in a second in case um, you don't remember what that means okay hmm i think i'm going to improve my defense and that also gives me more uh, resolve so i was saying what give us gave us two more I don't know. This one is gave, gave us 15 resolve when we were wounded. So, going to the defense die, I'm gonna put this one here. And I believe that's all the changes I want to do. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we get a camp. What? One energy. Let's get into this fight. So we have to. Oh no, this is only this is a bit odd. There's no connection here. So let's get there. Um let's see. Okay, this is the buff, so it flips. And one hit and the second hit from the infinite combo. He dies. Now let's get into this one. It's not really going to make a difference, but 
Oh, I should have thrown this one first, I forgot. Now you can see it applies zero, zero grid, so... Anyway... We should start with this one. Now let's get this one. Okay, and we recover this, and fine, awesome, good. Let's get this, and this one, and this one, and now um, we want that to bounce, so bounce and now we gain seven block and add one resolve so now we are say from 12 to 13 so that's why it's, it's a better side in, in my opinion so we want that it's gonna make that at six uh defense that and okay we'll recover a reasonable amount there um <laughs> okay i think i think i'm gonna see what we get here first okay and he's done good Oh, there was a bit of a bug there, yeah, because the guy you see is still there, but he died. Good. So, we have this one already. This is a stiff, so we get half damage. And this adds more poison at the cost of zero attack. I think we want to probably... Um, so, it's not poison, it's bleed. Bleed is pretty good, pretty good for some enemies, but... I think I'm gonna go for stealth. And I will check my defense die. You see this uh, adds to more defense to each of the sides. So I will I will keep it like that and I will add the the stealth here. So, we are not making big use of, of this one, should I? Let's... I like that one. Let's, let's go for that. We will soon get a fourth die. Um, okay, you cannot believe your eyes. A giant rooster made of some of a stone appears between the trees. The statue looks alive as though it could peck you at any moment. Fine, so um, I remember I used this one and it was kind of okay. This one looks like it's gonna be a fight and probably not good. But um, let's try check the surroundings. Okay, so we got a fight and this guy has a lot of health. Ah, oh, that was not good. Anyway, fine, so start with this. Now they have a debuff, so. Okay, this loads up and finish combo. Get this one for the bleed and then get the bleed to. Um, let's get it to this one. Okay. Anyway, he was not affected by the bleed. Maybe he had some kind of. Uh, the bath or something. Okay. Let's get this one. Now this kill that guy. And infinite combo. Stealth. And defense. Now let's start draining this one slowly. It has plenty of, of health. Um, let's do something, I think. I need to... Oh, I, I didn't find any way to... Once you select it, uh, I die, unfortunately. Um, so I wanted it to bounce, but anyway. 
Um, okay, let's do this. Take this guy. Okay. Okay, let's try this one now. Okay, more steel. Um, no, I don't want to use that one now because I'm full here and this is going to load me too. Well, so. Great. And I'm almost full on, on resolve. So after, after all those, um, Uses is of of the die. This one. Okay, fine. Okay, bear in mind that it's dealing half damage to us. So I'm going to try to see if I can. Uh, um, was unlucky. Okay, one throw down. And another one there. And now uh, defense. Okay. Let's see if I manage to get uh not lucky, unfortunately. Anyway. I wanted to get like six of um bleed on him to make it a bit faster. Okay, that was not an infinite combo because one of the side had, had disappeared. Okay, again. Okay. And there we go. Fine. This is gonna be a bit tough, I and mean, I believe his resolve uh, recovery increases all the time. So yeah, now I want this. That's what I wanted. To add six bleed, that's gonna make a difference. And infinite combo. Plus now. He loses this six, so now it's, it's in, in three only. Okay, let's try to see if we can manage. So uh, we're lucky, we're not lucky. Okay. At least he's not hitting us because of the uh, shield. So let's try not there. Okay. Fine. Um, what? Which one do we want? This is interesting mm, for the for the bounce die, but it costs three. This is a safe bet, I will say. Um, and this is a bit expensive, but mm, <laughs> I think I will go for this one. And I will put it in our attack. Because this bounces and this bounces as well, so we can benefit from that. So that's kind of our bounce and run die. Okay, let's Well, actually doesn't matter. I will play this one first. Um and sure kill him now we can attack this one because that's gonna end in a combo and this one is gonna die good 
fine. So let's get into this one. Yeah, good. So let's make it bounce. So this is six split. And now we back him. Okay. We want this one to bounce because it attacks twice if it does. Defense, and now let's go for our usual. Okay, uh, that's it. Fine. And we're almost done with him. Get this one, bounce, and then. Good. This is good because it gives us more stealth. Um, I think I will, I will take this one. So now we recover health and then let's see, do I want to use this one? This is our bounce die, so let's put it here. That should be fine. And we have two options to get to get a steal. And now we have a kind of a act final boss. This guy here. So let's start with this one. Uh, we want that to bounce, but with this die, not with this one. Okay. Okay, good. So yeah, this is gonna take a while to, to reduce, but this is just, just continue with our flow. As you can see, we, we are barely in touch. So, on this, we want to recover this side. It costs us four energy, but anyway, it's fine. Okay. So, yeah, I picked the wrong one anyway. Good, so let's flip this one. Flip this one, this one. And infinite combo, and then we get this. Okay. Fine. Let's get there. I want this. Oh, again, this was an awful throw. So let's get some effects. Okay. Okay. Now we want this to bounce. So let's this, this, okay, that dealt 12. And now another five. Okay, it's 42 now. So mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Hmm, it's been tougher. So this says against one foolish attack when thy face is exhausted. Hmm. Okay, this. Okay, let's recover that side. Okay, I'm not doing the best here, so I should be throwing this die first and trying to get some blood 
accumulation there, uh, a stack. Okay. Mm, let's go there and we want to recover this. Oh, okay. This guy has been tough. Not lucky with the, with the die. There, the blood. Let's bring this one here. Over. And infinite combo again. Okay, fine. So, it's almost done. Because we are a bit tight there, but... We're doing well. So, yeah, this finished the, the combat. Cool. So, new die. Great. Um, and let's get the new die. Let's open it here and we're gonna fill it with probably all attacks. Fine. So we are 56 minutes or so into the um, into the game. We have mostly seen all the different task tactics. So I think I will finish the, this video here and I will continue and upload a second video with a with the second half, which will be this kind of act two, which then slits us to, to this point which is where where the game or where the demo ends with this other boss um, probably there's no more much more to show obviously I can get some more cores and some more dice and and, um, and different um, sides that I can use but this should be enough to, to get you a sense of how it goes as you can see I'm almost in touch, reaching this point. Uh, if the game might seem a bit long, we say we have kind of roughly one hour to to get here. You may think like it's gonna be like another hour for getting this one and this final one three hours. Around is not bad; it's not too long. But considering that we have not unlocked many things we are not as strong as, as we will be later on where we have more resolve, more uh, damage increase and all the other different things and obviously sides that, that get unlocked then this should be a breeze and it probably I think is somewhere in a 90 minutes range for a run relax should be pretty good so as I said um, I will leave it here for now um, and I will still continue playing and, and record and upload uh, the second half of the separate video just for completion so you can see that I managed to to finish the, the demo successfully uh, without any actual struggle. Okay, so hope you liked, hope you enjoyed and this gave you some nice and interesting uh, tips and things that you should be looking for when building your your dice thank you for watching um, let me know in the comments uh, if you have any question and i will try to answer that uh, to the best of my knowledge see you soon